Yo people, back for another match day. It's Chelsea versus Brighton. And we really should be winning today. These guys have 11 injuries. These guys played on Thursday. Their team is stretched to death. I know we're not in the best of form. I know we haven't been in any form all season, but this is an unbelievable opportunity to get three points. Obviously don't underestimate um, Brighton and all of that, but if we're not winning this game, when are we winning? Like this is on a plate for us right now, respectfully. So go to Stamford Bridge, play seriously. Don't do any stupidness. Like we always are capable of a fuck up per game, every single match. Just please let's have a composed and calm performance and take the three points, God willing. But yeah, we'll see you guys at the ground. Pray for us, up the Chels. <laughs> Jackson, you've got so much space. Lord Astrid's going to send you some moods. Uh, have a corner. Oh, 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 seconds. Yeah! Seconds again. Brighton looked completely out of it. Barely caused us any sort of threat in this game. Now again, I don't want to tempt fate or anything, but this does feel a little bit comfortable. Now, we have been a bit shaky playing out the back and everything, but Chelsea, we've done our job Chelsea, for the most part. We've got comfortable. It seems Chelsea, like we've got to hold on Chelsea. to it. Just no stupidness. No more silliness playing out the back. Please just see this game out, I beg. <laughs> I'm the biggest jinx in the world. I swear, the minute I say we are having a comfortable fucking game, we concede. Let me just keep my mouth shut. Let me just shut up, man. <laughs> Gallagher's off. Gallagher's off. Oh my gosh. We, we never, ever, ever make it fucking easy, do we? For fuck's sake. <laughs> Oh, Half time, what a shit show ending that was. Sanchez has some beef with the East Stand, the amount of times he's whipping the ball here. What the fuck, bro? One back. One back. Ah. Oh. Now, man. He is written in the stars, isn't it? Fuck, man. Never straight forwards, man. Yes! Yes, guys. We're back. Back from the game. 3 2. Thank the Lord. We made, we made that win look ugly as hell, even though we really should have made it look easy with the amount of injuries and game time these lot have had. But we've done it. We won. We showed a little bit of mentality, showed a little bit of grit. Even if we have fuck all discipline and we got another red card, I guess we won. We'll take it. There's positives to be had. We defended well. That's it. That's actually it. Fuck Brighton, bruv. Fuck Brighton. Big facts, man. Fuck Brighton. 
No rivalry, but that was a beef that had to be settled and then been fired in the fire. Hang on, hang on. Let's, let's, let's talk about this quickly. Bro. What fucking fans count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. When someone's taking a fucking goal kick. That's the most embarrassing thing I've seen from away support. Brighton, sort your fucking support out, you fucking pricks. Big facts, big facts. Brian, hold that, bruv. You think we have a rivalry? We ain't got shit. You man are a feeder club and you're nothing more. Bro, hold that. We took the beating heart of your team. Caicedo said, fuck this shitty mid table team. I want to play for good teams. He came to Chelsea. We took your players. Big your players want to play for us because you're shit. Big facts. And one thing I want to say as well everyone's saying, oh, Enzo don't get enough GNA. Oh, Enzo don't score enough. There you go. There you go. Two goals on your head top and we won the game. Hold that, dickheads. Brilliant performance. Well, brilliant grit. I think we got held back anyway because of Conor Gallagher's stupid red card. Is what it is. Yet another game, yet another red card. We move. Gallagher's out of the United game. But at least we have Reese James back. Two goals from corners in the first half before Cole Will doesn't really close down whoever the right winger was for the first one. Then we give away a stupid red card. Two dumb yellows. And it's back to the, walls, to the wall for the whole second half. But we did it. We held on, a little bit worrying towards the end. They nearly gave away the dodgiest penalty of all penalties at the end. But we showed some resolve. Thiago Silva looked good, Badia Shield looked good. For Enzo and Caicedo did their jobs well. Jackson, for all the pre-match hype around him, did pretty well in terms of holding up play, linking up play well. Ignore the siren and all of that, it's just typical Chelsea and everything. But, yeah, there's not really a lot, a lot of negatives to take other than the L. I mean, the red card. The red card's just a giant L. Yet again, we've done some more stupidness. Kind of puts us on the back foot for the United game. Now we have another player suspended as well as all the injuries that we have on top. But it shouldn't be an excuse. It's Manchester United. Manchester United have been fucking shit this season. They've been in their 22-23 Chelsea bag. We need to be taking advantage of that. If we cannot beat Manchester United in this current capacity that they're in right now, we are never going to fucking beat them. It's about time that we stop taking the piss, stop making excuses. We have a very good run of games coming up. After United, it's Everton, it's Luton, Sheffield United, Crystal Palace, all of these mid-teams. We should be getting results against them. These aren't our ops. We need to stop being, being associated with these lot. Remember where we are. Remember who we're meant to be. Get out on mid-table, get some consistent performances, get some consistent results on top of that performance, and build on the discipline. I can clearly see the mentalities improving. Like, we, res we showed some resolve, we fought well in the second half, we got an ugly win, but the discipline is what needs to improve next, because the discipline just was not good enough. Not good enough again. But even in terms of chances, I don't think we missed a lot of big chances. We didn't really get the opportunity to make a lot of big chances because we were down to 10 men for half of the game. We have to try and just hold for what we have. Big up to Enzo, big up to Mudrick and Jackson for the build-up leading up to the penalty as well. The attack did well with very limited resources to work with. I think they did okay. Whole team did okay. Just go to Manchester United where it's 11 v 11. Keep, keep it 11 v 11. And yeah, just shoot on target. On target, that would be nice. But yeah, guys, big up to everybody. We're going to be live later up on tonight. Up the, the fucking chest! Up the fucking chest! Let's go.